Divorce California 10 year rule. And so it's basically at 10 years, the um, California courts consider marriage a marriage of long duration, which means one of the spouses can be on the hook for lifetime alimony to the other spouse. And yeah, so just like in the, um, basically the laws in California, the divorce laws are set up to slaughter the higher earner. It's just a way to say like slaughter the man without having them explicitly be slaughter the man. Because we know with female hypergamy, they like to marry across and up in social hierarchies, also in earning status. So women like to be with men that earn more than them. And so when a divorce happens, most of the time, basically all the time, it's the man being the higher earner. So the man getting slaughtered with these divorce laws. Okay, so marriage of long duration is when a marriage reaches 10 years. In um, Yeah, when a marriage is 10 years long, California courts consider a marriage of long duration. And then the law in California is the courts have jurisdiction over like alimony, things like that, for the rest of the life of the spouses. And so there's also wide latitude. It's not exactly 10 years. You know, if it's nine and a half years, the court could also deem it a marriage of long duration. Um, also, if it's 11 years, but you've accumulated like two years of separation throughout the 11 years, the court can, could consider it um, a nine-year marriage and not consider it a marriage of long duration. So actually the best thing to do is get the state government out of the relationship, aka file for the divorce papers, before you get anywhere close to the 10 years. Because look, I know your wife's not behaving perfectly. I know she's behaving better than when you got married, um, aka she's behaving so before you got married, she's she did behave better compared to now, when she's now behaving worse. And so we want to have you avoid this lifetime alimony stuff. And if you're around there, you can still, or if you're past the date, you can still get around this by getting a signed divorce settlement agreement outside of court. So a signed divorce settlement agreement among the husband and wife supersedes all the laws in the book. So the 50-50 split of stuff, the lifetime alimony stuff. I know my divorce, I didn't give any assets 50-50. I didn't pay any alimony because I got the agreement.